Hey folks, Pat with Bird Brain Model Rails again. Today I'm building a static display in a back corner of a portion of my layout. Now, I've already installed my form of my plaster cloth through here mm -hmm. and across and over here. The one thing you have to watch with plaster cloth is its inconsistencies. For example, if you watch where I touch my fingers, some of this has a firm feel to it, some of it has a give to it. It is it, pliable, even after I've brushed in my water through it. So what I'm doing to firm this up is I've mixed up some plaster in Paris. Now I'm not mixing the way I normally would where it's thick. I'm mixing it where it's runny. If you see how nice and pliable that is, in doing so I'm, I'll, I'll be able to brush this right over the top of this with a thin layer and not lose my character lines through all this. So let's start with that process. I'm going to use a brush to brush this on. I just set that right there for now. I use kind of a semi-coarse wide brush. It's a little bit firm so that it'll help with my character lines. Now I'm just going to come right in here and just do a light coat with it just to firm it up. You'll notice it stays on my brush for me. Come in here and just start brushing that in. Bring in my light. Alright, here we go. Down through there. There we go. Like that. Ideally, you can see where see all those holes in that plaster cloth well when we're done you won't have we won't have those holes when we're done and in doing so this structure will be rock hard for us and still not take away from the character lines that we already have in here so I'm not pouring on there thick I'm just enough to Give it a nice steady coat. To firm that up and give it some strength. Basically what we're doing here. Good news is I'm ambidextrous, so I'm good at using both either hand with what I do here. I'm not sure you've noticed some black lines on my wall. Those are markers for the paint that I'll use over my painted areas for the inside of my tunnels that will be built into this as well. Because this section here will be another track. And that track, a portion of it will have power to it. But one end of it will have will be insulated so that my passenger coaches that will be on here will be lit up, but there will be no power to the engine sitting there. That way I'm not burning up a motor on my on my engine when I run on my passenger coaches just for a static display. Okay, in here.
to work a little kind of quick with this because if you don't, your plaster you're working with is going to try and set up on you. That water will dry up in that bowl. Guys, when I'm working, I tend to not talk very much because I'm concentrating on getting this surface covered. And then you need to apply just a little bit of pressure in there to get that plaster down into those character lines and not get it too thick and take away from what you've done and created. It doesn't have to be perfect, gentlemen. That's one nice thing about landscape. If you try to get too perfect with it, you'll be here forever and end up losing some of your character lines that kind of naturally unfold for you and take shape. Okay, that's enough for this batch. This starting to dry. It was a little bit that I have left is starting to dry up on me, so <coughs> we'll be back after I mix up some more. All right, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're back with some, with some more plaster. We're going to finish up this section down in here. Okay. So we're going to start brushing this in. made a little thinner this time to get it to spread a little easier, folks. There we go. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, work our way through this. See, but it's thin enough that it's going to absorb into these gaps in that plaster cloth to really firm that up nicely, which is what we want because I don't want to end up, God forbid, if I have to lean into something and accidentally forget and lean on this, mm -hmm. I don't want it to collapse on me. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. Much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there. See that thread? Mm -hmm. Piece of plaster cloth, strand. I'm sure by now everybody has noticed my pink foam board that's sitting on top of this display. That, th this section is, is designed so that I can lift that off of here. A couple of reasons for that. Number one, it's going to be virtually impossible for me to reach that back corner to finish up my landscaping. So I can lift that whole top off of there build my landscaping and set it back in place and it'll blend right into what I've already done. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to tell. The other reason is of course because I'm going to have, up here I'm going to have a few buildings and some roads with semis and the things of that nature and street lights. So I'm going to have wires running, running through that. Mm -hmm. So I won't be able to get access to all of that if I ever need to do any maintenance. I can also open it up to do track maintenance for the track that's underneath there. Mm -hmm. So that's why that is the way it is. Okay, we're almost done with this batch. Through here, work it around. Mm -hmm. So, you notice it smooths out, but I'm still keeping my character lines in there in the process. Remember I said I'm going to have power to this track down here. Mm -hmm. My power of my feeder wires are right here for that, the red and white. Red and white, yep. They're already fed through the bottom so I can run them over to my power and turn those on and off as needed. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, which you know, there's always more videos coming, so if you enjoy them, be sure to hit those like and share buttons, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I put a new video up for you. Um, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Y'all have a great day, and God bless.